Sometimes you must do that anyway. So. Yeah. Well, suffice to say, if you know anything about time travel, you will go, you st so stupid! But anyway. Um, this time travel won't hurt. Mm. <laughs> Although, time travel will make your head hurt, so it's just kind of accurate. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can just imagine the sort of like the, the day after we've watched the movies, we'll just go. Does anyone remember what happened? Like oh, the, the, the cesarean vampire pregnancy. Yeah, that's about all I remember. <laughs> that's all I really know because it's such an absurd thing to do. Yeah, it's one of. I mean, the thing is, apparently they didn't do it like it's framed in the book. Oh god. I'm not sure whether that's better or worse. Well, the thing is... Get better or it gets worse? That's the question. <laughs> well, it's one of those cases where they didn't fully show it. Because, of course, it's such a fucked up scene. You couldn't really show it to tween audiences, could you? <laughs> I'd say tween audiences that probably imagined it when they read the book. Well, I had a logic question whether anyone can imagine anything in the house until it's read twice. But, like... Yeah. Anyway. I mean, well... Oh shit, I've just realised what this could possibly be influenced by. Um, there's a book called The Colour Purple. Ah uh, yes, I'm aware of this. How aware of it are you? Mostly about the film, I know the film's not really much similar to the book. Whatever. I'll put it as simply as this, the film just really does not do the book any sort of justice. I've heard that, yeah. Because it... it well, for one thing, you know when you sort of like, if you've read the book, you go, well, that's not how the character would act. Yeah. That's the sort of situation we're talking about. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. And also, right. it doesn't really convey the horrors. Yeah, I've also heard that. I mean, the film is pretty horrifying, but what I've heard the book is far worse. Page one describes the rape of the main character by her father. Oh, well, that's a uh, strong impact to go in on. Yeah. It's sort of, just set the scene of sheer terror. Yeah. It's sort of like, you know, room full of 17 and 18 year olds. First page! <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that situation goes on for about 14 pages! Oh, Not just her father, but also the guy she ends up getting sold off to. No, it's just ah! <laughs> and the thing is, it goes through the things get better, and then they get really bad, and you're just sort of like, can we please read something else? <laughs> a nice happy book, like of mice and men. <laughs> I was about to say of mice and men. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not a thing that you read a lot in schools. So. I never read it in school, funnily enough. Yeah, I never read it in English. So. Yeah. Or well, a lot of people did. There was another couple of things in it behind instead, though. So mm. doing certain people got certain stuff. <laughs> so, like, can can I read something else like Mice and Men or 1984? One flew over the cuckoo's nest. <laughs> They're all totally happy books. <laughs> or Lord of the Flies. Or of Orange, maybe. <laughs> Battle Royale. Oh, that's the money of yesterday. People complaining because they're showing watch it down. <laughs> that started out as a... Hmm? That film was totally happy as well. I mean, it's like animated and cute and adorable, right? <laughs> Nothing bad can come of this. But anyway, it... We aren't mentioning a lot of things where situations get improve and then they get worse. <laughs> things improve and get, yeah, get worse? Like the Spider-Man oh. Wait, there was a good film in that series? Second like one was better than the first. And the third one was awful in every single possible aspect. So yeah. Yeah, but to be fair, the f you had a bit of a low bar for the second one. It's true, but it's still a case that it got a little bit better and then it just got drastically worse for a mm. Of course, the key problem is trying to throw as many villains as possible into things. It's not really the third one so bad. Yeah. I mean, the third one... They had three villains! <laughs> so, for what purpose? 
and none of them got proper focus. No, they balled it up incredibly. Yeah. It's sort of like they were almost trying to do a Sinister Six, but they didn't realise that the reason that worked was all the villains were established. Well, like, you know, Spider Man 3 was like, oh, we've got the Green Goblin, but that is the only character that's ever had any mention beforehand. Mm. What's that film? So. Of course, they couldn't do the Sinister Six because they kept killing off the characters. Yeah, that works. It's not a very good one. <laughs> anyway, should we actually get back to talking about the thing I'm meant to be talking about? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. They didn't um, actually announce it like 15 years beforehand, so we're doing it, guys, we're doing it. Mm. Just wait a little longer. Yeah. Same reason that Duke Nukem th- um, Forever sucked. Also, they're constantly just adding things and changing things for the entire duration of the film. Hmm. And also being sold on yes. about a dozen times. Yeah. What? Mm. No, I know that song. I've heard that song so many times. Yeah. It's not even a good song. It, I mean, you really have to wonder what The Undertaker was thinking when he had that as his entrance theme briefly. <laughs> it's all. Well, it's sort of like. Really? Rolling? You couldn't pick something better? Like... Yes, no. Huh? You like a lot of things? <laughs> you know, you couldn't pick something better like... Barbie Girl! <laughs> yes, his name is J. Lauren Wince. It's kind of a fitting name, really. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't... He's got no wiki page, so... Uh-huh. He loved me most, he gave me the ill first. Like hours. Probably more like days. Probably, well, yeah. Well, if you think, because of being at a gig a few days before... Yeah, that probably doesn't help. Also sleep. Gigs, it's just, hmm? The problem with the gigs is that, oh yeah, you got like uh, 500 people usually minimum just crammed into a small room. Mm. Also having to sleep oh on the floor. No, be there. Yeah. So there's been thing of hotel rooms with multiple people. Mm. Who may also have allergy. <laughs> at least I didn't end up like my mum, who has bro- either has or at least had bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hmm. Bronchitis is a horrible, horrible thing to have. I've had it before. Yeah. Worst I've had is tonsillitis, where that's concerned, and that was a pain in the ass. Well, it was a pain in the neck, really. Yeah, but I have had bronchitis. I had it when I was a kid, so I was like, whoa, 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 dog. Mm. Like, ten at the time, I just spent, like, over a week just not being able to get out of bed. Yeah. It was just horrible. Constantly coughing, like, five times a second. It was horrible. I can imagine. Thankfully, I never had it again. <laughs> yeah, um... The problem I have with them is a lot of the recent stuff. I know that, uh, what's it called? Crap, Matt of London Death, I have the same problem with that album, I did with quite a few things by them. Mm-hmm. It's a good album, but the songs have seen what they're going on, they're going to drag out a bit too much. Yeah. Um, and personally, my favourite album I've made is uh, Somewhere in Time, which doesn't necessarily do that as much. Mm. Anyway. anyway um, so, should we, uh, what band should we do after? Someone that has like. 37 albums, I think. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> Retrospective one, David Barry. Oh, God. <laughs> well. <The> boss forever. <laughs> yeah, that's job security, David Bowie retrospective. <laughs> um, I've got a few obscure bands we could cover. Um, sure, we can play something. Yeah. I mean, one band that we could do a sort of one off because they only. They literally only released one ba- album. Uh, Karmic Cheera, but that's true. I mean, kind of tend to do Battle of Mice as well. You know what album? Yeah. Um, the the, the movie we're looking at is now working with Cotton Vinny for the new album coming out next month. So. Yeah. But yeah, um, 